Hi guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Britches back with another What's Sold video. I am back from vacation and I have got my numbers for the week of June 19th through June 29th. So it's a little bit more than a week, more like 10 days. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller and a full-time school counselor. And I have an eBay store with my sister, Karen, who's a full-time kindergarten teacher and a part-time reseller. And together we make up Thrifty Britches. If you enjoy reselling content, then definitely go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. We love having new people join our Thrifty Britches community and um, it also helps us out tremendously in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so I am going to jump right into my sales from eBay. eBay is typically where most of my sales take place, although I do also sell on Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. I keep threatening to get into Etsy, but so far I have not succeeded in getting my crap together enough to open up any, um, an Etsy account and start cross-posting some of my vintage items. Okay, so the first item is this Colorado flag. It's a vintage trucker hat. Um, shout out to Shell Bell, who um, it is because of her YouTube channel that I even knew about trucker hats. So we picked this one up at an estate sale for a dollar, and it has been listed a long time, probably seven or eight months, and it eventually did sell for nine dollars. I don't mind picking up these trucker hats. They don't take up a lot of room. They're easy and cheap to ship, um, so it's not such a big deal. Um, definitely um, something that I'm going to pick up if I can get them for the right price, like a dollar or so at a yard sale. Okay, next is this Guitar Hero 5 Nintendo Wii version of the guitar, which included the game and the strap. Now, the one um, downside to this was that it was missing its battery case, but I just noted that it came in the original box, which was a super, super great thing to find. We snagged this at a yard sale for only $15, and it sold within three days of having listed it for $70. Okay, next up is another Calico Critters set that sold. And let me tell you, y'all, if you have not noted that Calico Critters is a bolo, you have got to make note of that right now. Huge, huge bolo. This is my third time picking up a big lot of Calico Critters stuff. And I, I promise you that I cannot keep them in stock. If you will recall, I got a big bin of Calico Critter stuff and I paid only $15 for it at a huge church yard sale a couple of weeks ago. I divided it up into 12 different lots. So far, nine of the lots have sold already for a net profit for us of $123.27. That is net of the 15 bucks that we laid out for it and net of all shipping costs and all costs that we assumed paying eBay or Macari, which is where most of them sold. I think one might have sold on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so absolutely, if you see Calico Critters out there in the wild, definitely, definitely pick them up. Um, I would also advise not throwing them together in a big bin, but dividing up all the animals into different little animal families. Some of the animals are much more desirable than the other animals if they have their clothes that is also much more desirable and all of the little furniture sets as well. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Okay, so this living room set, I paid about $2 for it in that bin and it sold for $18. Next is this Starbelly Dream Lights doll. I picked this up at the exact same churchyard sale that I got the Calico Critters lot. I paid a dollar for this and this was a really neat find. I had no idea what it did. My kids were born way before Star Billy Dream Lights. Um, and so I popped some batteries in and figured out that it actually is like a light show or a star show or whatever on the ceiling and it changes colors. So it was kind of cool. Again, I paid a dollar for that and it sold really quickly for $20. It sold within a week of having listed it. This was the pink one. Having said that, the blue guy is still hanging around, so. Okay, next is this Lucky Brand leather purse. I grabbed this a couple weeks ago at a yard sale. Um, I think it was in one of my Thrift With Me videos. Really, really cute, in great condition, very soft leather. This sold within less than a week for $41, and I only paid a dollar for it. Great find. 
these kid songs VHS tapes I remember from when my kids were little and so out of nostalgia I snatched them up they were only 50 cents a piece so I grabbed these at that same huge churchyard sale paid a dollar fifty for them and the whole lot sold for twenty four dollars I have another calico critters um, furniture lot this is a kitchen furniture lot this I paid about two dollars for probably a little bit less and it sold for fourteen dollars and it would have gone for more except the faucet part was broken off of the sink so I noted that and the buyer still purchased it this free people black cardigan Karen scored at a yard sale for only three dollars it was new with tags and I call it a cardigan but it really didn't look like much of a cardigan it was kind of weird it had like this twisty front thing and then it had an open back with a little strap around the back I'm 54 so it's really really not in my wheelhouse but it looked cute if you're young and you can you know pull that off without getting arrested god bless you it was in a size oh gosh i didn't write the size down i think it was in a size small or extra small um again karen grabbed that for three bucks and we sold it for 22 dollars about four days after listing it this easel anthro scoop neck t-shirt in a size large so it's easel brand sold at anthropology I will not do this again. We picked this up at Goodwill for $5.99. I think we grabbed it on the half price day. So then it would only be about a $3 investment, but it only sold for $10. So I think Easel, and it's been listed for a hot minute too. So I don't know if Easel is the best brand to pick up. I'm finding a lot of the Anthropology brands are a very, very hit miss for me lately. Let me know in the comments if you're seeing the same thing. I'm trying to scale back a little bit on those and um, at least on t-shirts and things like that, maybe for sweaters for the winter, I might see it a little differently because those really seemed to move for me last winter. Um, I'm gonna have a kind of wait and see approach with that. Okay, next up is this Life Proof Pink Case for a 6 Plus 6S phone. This was recently returned to me because the buyer purchased the wrong size. I picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar and it sold two days after being returned for $20. So side note, it actually sold for $5 more than what it had sold the first time. So yay. Okay, up next are these girls Chacos. They are in a size four, really cute peach color. We picked them up at Goodwill for $3.99 and they sold within five days for $20. Another Free People item, this is a Free People Leah denim dress, meant to be very form-fitting. It was a size large. It looked to be a medium and a tight medium at that. Um, I would definitely was not gonna attempt to squeeze myself into that. Super, super cute and a really nice soft denim in excellent condition. Um, picked this up at a yard sale for $5 and it sold in about a week and a half for $28. I grabbed this Earthbound Trading Company tank in a size large at a recent yard sale for a dollar. It was just kind of mixed in with other things and I picked it up solely on style. I knew nothing about the name. I didn't run the comps. I just thought it had a really cool boho festival type of vibe to it. Um, and so I grabbed it and I'm glad I did. It sold in about two weeks for $13. You may remember me picking these up in a recent thrift haul. These are a set of hardbound Samantha American Girl um, doll books. I've really kind of been on a kick of book sets, particularly for kids or like young adult type fiction series books. I did really well with those horse books. In looking at the comps, the hardbound were selling higher. I saw one sold for $75, and so I listed it at $75, but when I got an offer for $55, I took it. Um, buyer paid shipping through media mail, and it is off to its new home. I only paid $4 for the whole lot of those books. Okay, next is a Windows 10 home key. I don't pretend to know a lot about this computer stuff, but it was only a dollar at a yard sale. Um, Karen picked it up when she was in Birmingham yard selling with me. Um, the seller said, you know, it's got one more key left. And so, I mean, I just know from my own experience, buying all that crap is really, really expensive. So we figured we'd take a stab. Again, we only paid a dollar for it and it sold within a week for $16. This Eviva bathing suit is in a size kids six and Eviva is the Lululemon kids line. 
which I didn't know until Karen grabbed this bathing suit at a yard sale for only $2. It was listed about five or six days before it sold for $19. Karen also grabbed this Bobbi Brown number no. four perfume. It had only half the product remaining, but the comps were super, super strong. This is another bolo. Y'all, I would totally would have walked past this. She has a really good eye for stuff like this. She scored this at a yard sale for $4 and it sold within four days for $75. For used perfume, go figure, right? Makes no sense to me, but we were super stoked to um, not only find it, to sell it so high. Okay, I am going to move on to my two only Poshmark sales. So the first thing that I sold in Poshmark were these Nike sneakers. These were actually um, my nephew's um, former sneakers that were very gently worn, so cost of goods was zero. And we flipped those for $22. And the next thing was this pair of Vionic sandals. These were a really pretty stacked heel sandal in a black leather. Um, I can't remember the size, but I'll flash it up there when I'm doing my editing. We grabbed these at Goodwill for $5.99 and they sold within a week of having listed them for $40. Okay, and the last five items that I'm gonna um, share with you are all Macari sales. These were all sales in which the buyer paid the shipping. I did, I'm steering away from free shipping because it makes me crazy. Um, and I always, always forget when I'm doing offers that I have free shipping thrown in there and then I just get mad at myself. So um, all of these again were buyer pays shipping. Okay, first is this batch of Cinderella PVC figurines or um, I put cake toppers on there. I paid 50 cents for these. They were in a huge, huge bag of all different figures that I lotted up into about six or seven different lots. And I only paid two or three dollars for the bag. So no more than 50 cents in, they sold for $15. Another Calico Critters set. This is a bunny family of four. Um, I am about a dollar into this set and they sold for $10. This Little Critters pair of stuffed animals, I paid a dollar for both of them. It is the brother and the sister, and it's the Coles Care brand. I've had a lot of luck moving Coles Care's literature type of stuffed animals. So if it has something to do with a book or anything like that, I've just had some luck moving it. They seem to move fairly quickly. These were only listed about three weeks. Um, they don't they don't go for hundreds of dollars, but if I pick something up that I know is going to move in a few weeks, I'm okay with that. I actually think I paid less than a dollar because I had gotten a big bag of stuffed animals at this yard sale for only five dollars. But being conservative, I'll give it a dollar as cost of goods, and it sold for seven dollars, and I took that on an offer. The last two items are both Calico Critter lots. First is this Buckley deer family, and this is what I mean about separating out the calico critter animals. The deer, for whatever reason, were extremely rare, so they went a little bit higher than some of the other animals. Um, I think I had them listed for about $26, and I took an offer of $20 on Macari, and all in probably $2 cost of goods. And the last item is this floral bedroom set. Um, I picked this up for about the same $2, and it had some crayon or marker coloring on it. I started to use the pink stuff to try to get some of it off and it started to fade some of the floral. So I quit doing it and I just took some pictures of all the scribbling and noted it for the buyer and it sold for $12. All right guys, so for the totals, those are 24 items for which we paid $66.97 leaving us with a cost of goods for this what sold video of $2.79. We sold everything for an even $600, taking out the cost of goods of $66.97 and also backing out the 20% that I used to estimate fees of $120. That still leaves us with a profit for that 10 day period of $413.03. That is my sweet spot. When I'm looking at my seven to 10 day data, I like to see it right around 400. That's what I consider it to be a really solid week. And please also keep in mind, my eBay store was on time away for most of this period. We left on the 24th 
and I didn't return until July 4th, late in the day. Uh, and so all those things considered, like that's why you see so few Poshmark sales. I wasn't sharing my closet because my closet was totally shut down. Um, so I feel like that was really good. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping things are picking up because they really have been dragging the last couple of weeks and I am back in it. I am home now for the rest of the summer until I go back to school. So I'm going to be working this business and hoping, hoping to see that number being a little more steadily in the 400s for seven day periods. Okay guys, that is everything. As always, if you like thrifting content, definitely give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And remember guys, it is not cheap, it's thrifty. I will see you on Sunday with my next Thrift With Me video. Bye guys.